Okay, this is day three of the barf diet. Tonka has some beef ribs, some chicken feet, some chicken necks, some gizzards and hearts, spinach, and an egg, and coconut oil. You ready to eat? This is my two-year-old Alaskan Malamute. His name is Tonka. And he's eating what is called the BARF diet. The BARF diet stands for, it's an acronym, it stands for Biologically Appropriate Raw Food. It was created by a veterinarian, Dr. Ian Billinghurst. What's he going to go for first? Well, he's eating that egg and spinach. Yep, he loves eggs. Make him a little spinach omelet with his egg. He says, I'm liking my egg, Mom. Eggs are a great source um, of really di digestible protein. They have ri riboflavin and selenium in them. Um, and some, for some dogs that are prone to upset stomachs, they can help give them a little protein boost. Today he's got um, beef ribs. Um, I hate saying, um, I gotta stop doing that. Red meat's one of the most nutritious foods that you can eat. It's loaded with antioxidants, minerals, and vitamins. Um, it contains the B vitamins B1, B2, B3, B6, and B12. It's Tonka's favorite too, he loves beef ribs. The chicken hearts, they're high in fatty acids. Um, they're packed with iron and protein, vitamins A and B, and they contain taurine. Taurine is an amino acid that's important in the metabolism of fats. The chicken gizzards that are in there, they're high in protein. Excuse me, they're high in protein. They have iron minerals, vitamins. The vitamins are C, E, and B. They also have glucosamine in them, which helps with cartilage and joints. Um, they're great for arthritis. But make sure you limit them to 20% of your dog's diet because they're high in cholesterol. Chicken feet, he loves chicken feet. They're also great for the joints and the cartilage. They don't have any meat on them. They're all skin and bones and tendons, but they're packed with calcium and collagen um, and protein that's easily absorbed. I need to figure out how to cook them the way I like them because I could use some of that. <laughs> Are you taking a break? Spinach is a really good roughage. It helps their digestive tract. Oh, there's a little heart. <laughs> Ah, chicken neck. Chicken necks are a good source of glucosamine. And chondroitin, chondroitin, they have um, all the benefits of chicken. They have protein, iron, calcium, essential fatty acids, vitamin A and B. He likes them. 
oh, the spinach, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's filled with vitamins A, B, C, and K. And it's packed with iron, antioxidants, and beta carotene. There's his chicken paw. He loves his chicken paws. Those are his favorite. Listen to the crunch. The coconut oil that's in the bowl, it contains lauric acid, and lauric acid has antiviral, antibacterial, antifungal properties to it. Um, the coconut oil helps to improve the digestion, but you don't want to get too much, it'll be flipping everywhere. Oh, the crunch. I got a comment um, yesterday, I think it was, from Brooke Cook. She was telling me that um, she adopted her dog. I love this. He's a labbit. <laughs> That's a lab and a pit bull cross. Um, and when she adopted him, she said he had really bad skin problems, hot spots, you know, itchy, just real bad skin problems. And she tried a bunch of different, you know, dog foods high good stuff and he was di didn't do any good for him and she said that um oh there we go she said after two weeks on the barf diet that all of his skin problems have gone away which is super cool i know taka's coat and skin is amazing from this diet he's in the water all the time yet he still sparkles Sparkly. This is really great for their teeth, too. Backwards view. It helps keep their teeth clean, helps them not to have super bad breath. It does all kinds of great stuff for them. Look at the booty. Look at the booty. That's a barf diet booty right there. <laughs> he wants that beef ribs. Let me get him out of here, Mom. People say, oh, if you feed dogs raw food, it's going to make them killers. They're going to be so aggressive. You see him touching his food. And he's not doing a thing about it. He's actually appreciating that I helped him get it. This meal is going to take a while to eat, so I definitely will not be filming the whole thing. Oops. It'll take him a while to get between those rib bones and get all that meat off of there. I'd like to hear um, you guys' experience with this diet. If you guys have fed it, 
kind of like Brooks. It was really cool to hear her story. So if y'all want to share your stories with me, that would be super awesome. these up for me <laughs> make it a lot easier this is a good meal too if you gotta go somewhere and do something you can work on it for a while or if he's got a lot of energy and you can't get him out because it's raining or something you give him something like this and that'll take him quite a while to finish it up
<laughs> you have a burp. You know, I get lots of comments about Tonka's coat and how he looks, how shiny he is, how big. Okay, I think I'm going to wind this video down. We've been at this for a while. It's going to be a while longer. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, we really hope you enjoyed this video, and we hope that it helps you. Make sure you do your own research. Become informed. Um, stop saying, um, Bonnie. I hate that. Sorry. Become informed. Look at how good a shape that boy's in. Okay. If you like this video, please hit that notification bell so you know when we're going to post more. Make sure you give us a ginormous thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Stick around. Tonka is an awesome, awesome dog. He doesn't just eat raw food. <laughs> He is an Alaskan Malamute that loves the water, and I mean loves the water. He has his very own pool in the backyard that he takes advantage of all the time. Um, he loves the ocean. He lives in Florida. He doesn't just survive Florida, he thrives here. And to finish it off, we steam, clean, and bleach the floor. <laughs>